Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel Sheepo5 and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys the three main reasons and a secret reason at the end of the video if you're still watching, you feel me? But three main reasons why you're not getting the max FPS you can get on your monitor if your monitor is 240Hz like this one over here or 144Hz like this one but maybe you're just getting 239Hz but 230 or 100 or 90 or just a lot of lag spikes i'm going to be telling you guys the three main reasons why this actually occurs number one is the cable the cable you're using is actually very 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 important and there's a reason i'm starting with the cable because it's so important for example this is an hdmi 2.1 cable and it's 8k it's able to give me 240 hertz but a lot of you guys i've realized through my other videos and the comments you guys have a lot of you guys don't know that the cable can actually cap on a specific refresh rate like for example certain like this cable i could have gotten the same cable it looks the same but it's capped at 160 or 180 or 144 or 120 so i always tell you guys to ask the shop that you're buying like what's the cap on the cable because it doesn't write it on its head like 240 hertz cap no they all look the same it has u green and it says 8k hdmi but this one is specifically capped at 240 so i can't obviously go over 240 and this is hdmi if we're actually looking for fps it's not that important you feel me because with my laptop i have the hdmi mm -hmm. i uh, hdmi i have the dp i have the type c the type c and the dp is preferable if you have it more like it's it's better than the hdmi and the one that is on top is the dp 1.4 so hello anyway what i was saying is the dp 1.4 is on top because it focuses more on the fps the type c is good as well as a secondary option but the fps is good but it's more of the visuals so for example if i'm connecting let's say these two laptops this one is 240 hertz the one on my left hand i'm going to use this one for games because it has 240 hertz so i'm going to use this one for games and i'm going to use the dp 1.4 to connect it to the laptop and if i wanted to use this one i'll probably use this one for like video editing or watching something or maybe picture editing or something like that so yeah that's the difference make sure to check your cable because you might have a 240 hertz but the cable you're using might just cap it at one 80 or literally anything so just make sure to ask about that so the second part we're actually gonna go in the laptop itself some of you don't actually know that you can literally just change the display like refresh rate by yourself by just going to the set like literally type display settings scroll all the way down and until you see advanced settings click on it click on your monitor then literally just choose the refresh rate that you want and it's going to show you obviously the max for some of you that don't actually see maybe that 165 refresh rate that your monitor is supposed to have just check your cable maybe your cable is capping it and you know it's just showing you the highest that the cable can actually give and the last part for this video is this rusty thing over here that we call a laptop fan a lot of you guys are playing games on your laptop and you don't use a laptop fan and you wonder why it's lagging it's stuttering screen tears it's hot because of the laptop fan you as a laptop player you just can't play any game that requires a lot of power and a lot of fps without a laptop fan yeah mine is rusty i've had this like for a while so yeah you need a laptop fan because your laptop alone is gonna get hot and if you play with your laptop like this this is even worse at least you need some sort of like what do you call it it needs to be like up a bit like for those of you who play with it on the table flat that's totally worse at least for some of you who play with it like this but just imagine this isn't a laptop fan and you're just playing with it like this it's still better at least there's some air coming in to your laptop and leaving your laptop because the only reason your laptop gets hot is because there's air not leaving your laptop like the air is just trapped in there and it's getting hot uh, so for those of you who don't play with the laptop fan stop it buy a laptop fan it's not that expensive you don't need six fans like mine i was just trying to be fancy but the extra fans do help so 
yeah guys that's the end of this video number one the cable number two go into your laptop and just manually change it because it doesn't automatically change it you literally have to change it yourself and number three is the laptop fan if you have all these three things the secret that i was talking about in the beginning was maybe your laptop is just not that good it happens before i had this good laptop this 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 amazing machine laptop you feel me i had a laptop too it wasn't that good i couldn't even play fortnite on it i couldn't play anything on it basically it was just so old it was slow the graphics card was bad the fans inside was old it didn't even have nvidia it was yeah yeah so just if all the stuff doesn't like give you a fps boost and stuff like that just check the laptop maybe the laptop is the problem anyway like subscribe share peace out